everyone, and thank you for attending this community information meeting for the North Crowley Road and North Crowley Cleveland Road intersection improvements project. This is city project number 101578. It's located in council district six. I'm the project manager. My name is Chad Allen and the project engineer is also on the call today on the project engineers company called AECOM. These are the topics we're going to cover tonight in the presentation. Um, in just a second, I'm going to introduce the project team. We're going to talk about the project funding. Um, I'll review the goals of the project and the scope. I'll show you some images that show the existing intersection and then several different slides that show the proposed improvements at the intersection. This project is complicated and it involves multiple agencies. So we'll talk about the agency coordination. We also have some utilities to relocate so that we'll be talking about that also. And then we'll go over the project status and schedule. And then at the end, I'll provide my contact information and um, take any questions that you have and I'll try to answer those questions. So again, my name is Chad Allen. I'm the project manager. Um, Jeff Allen is our communication specialist. He's um, running the meeting tonight. He was just speaking. Thanks a lot, Jeff, uh, for setting this up. I appreciate it. The engineer is also on the call. Doug Mike Worth with AECOM is with us tonight. And I believe I saw my senior CPO on the call too. Martin Phillips is um, part of the team. So um, those are the city folks on the call tonight and our engineer uh, will be here going through this presentation and answering your questions. So regarding the project funding, this project was approved as part of the 2018 bond program. Um, it was in the intersections package. You can see that $30 million was allocated for intersections. In general, the project description for the overall inter intersection projects was citywide construction of capacity, safety improvements, and reconstruction of intersections and necessary appurtenances, including traffic signal devices. This project specifically was listed in the bond book, the Crowley Road, North Crowley Road, and Cleburne Road project in Council District 6. And the project scope in the 2018 bond program was to improve capacity of the intersection by adding a right turn lane on the eastbound approach of Cleburne Road. So as we go through this presentation, I'll show you that we are proposing to do more than just add a right turn lane. As we were going through the conceptual design of the project and looking at the traffic out there and taking traffic counts, um, it uh, became um, necessary to make more improvements other than just a right turn lane. And I'll describe those in the slides as we go through the presentation. So um, the project goal is to construct traffic capacity and pedestrian safety improvements at the intersection of North Crowley Road and North Crowley Cleburne Road. We're gonna do that by accommodating the right and left turn movements to reduce backups and delays at the intersection. And then we're also gonna add curb ramps, sidewalks, crosswalks, and pedestrian signals and, and traffic signals too. This is an image that shows the existing intersection. If you can see my cursor, this is North Crowley Cleburne Road here, and this is North Crowley Road over here. North Crowley Road is a TxDOT road, and North Crowley Cleburne Road is a City of Fort Worth roadway. North Crowley Cleburne Road currently has one lane in each direction, sort of a narrow, just two lane road, one lane in each direction. Um, North Crowley Road has two lanes in each direction. It also has the center two-way turn lane. You can see here, and then it also has these 10-foot shoulders on the edge. So this is North Crowley Road. This is North Crowley Cleburne Road. And then right now in the existing situation, there is one pedestrian crossing. It's on the west side of the intersection. You can see these um, accessible curb ramps These and this little bit of sidewalk. There is no crosswalk, but I do believe there are pedestrian signals out there, but there is no crosswalk. And so right now in the existing condition, there's just one pedestrian crossing of the intersection. And then this is an image that shows the backups and the delay that occurs at the, at the intersection the way it is now. You can see the, the narrow one, two, two lane road, one lane in each direction. And these folks wanna pull off of 
and, and turn south or north on a North Crowley Road, and there's often long delays in, in making those turning movements. This image shows that. Here are the proposed improvements at the intersection. I have three or four slides that show the various components of what we're proposing to do at the intersection. First of all, in general, we're going to widen North Crowley Cleburne Road. Um, you, you heard me talk about that it's just a two lane road. You can see in this image that there's going to be three lanes and then there's also going to be this new free right, right turn slip lane here. So in general, we're widening the roadway right here at the intersection. We're also adding this triangular median that you can see right here. And again, we're adding this right turn lane, this free right turn lane. So folks won't get um, caught and backed up here. Folks who want to turn right will be able to turn right much more easily instead of having to wait for people to make this left turn and go north on Crowley Road. Here's some more components of what we're proposing to do out there. We're going to have a dedicated left turn lane, this lane right here. Then we're going to have a shared through and left turn lane. You can see this right here. So we have a dedicated left and then a through and a left. And we need the through movement because we're adding this part of the intersection over here. And I'll talk about that in another on the next slide, I think. But um, right now, um, this connection on the east side of the intersection does not exist. We're going to add this new connection as part of our project. So we're going to need this through movement. And then also for the folks coming south on Crowley Road who want to make a right, we're going to stripe this shoulder lane here and turn it into a right turn lane. So right now, this is just the shoulder. We're going to make this a right turn lane and we're going to increase the size of this radius so that larger vehicles can get around this turn right here. So um, we're also adding this new roadway connection. You just heard me talk about the new roadway connection on the east side of the intersection. This is um, to serve the new Crowley ISD sports complex. So Crowley ISD is building a new sports complex north and east of the intersection. Uh, they're going to have a new sports stadium. I believe they were going to have some new administration buildings up there. And they're building this roadway and they're going to they want to connect that roadway at this intersection. And so we're building this connection as part of our project. And then um, you can also see the new sidewalks and curb ramps and crosswalks that we're adding to the intersection. So previously we looked at this crossing. We're going to make the sidewalks better here with new accessible ramps. And then we're going to add this crosswalk here. So we're going to maintain that existing crossing and upgrade it and make it better. And then we're also going to add a pedestrian crossing around the south side of the intersection and also across the north side of the intersection. So this will be a new crosswalk and this will be a new crosswalk. They will, there will be pedestrian signals so that everything is safe. And then right here, we're going to build this sidewalk and Crowley ISD is going to extend this sidewalk to the east. So we're going to connect that to their new sidewalk in this location. So there will be three ways to cross the intersection here. And then finally, we're making traffic signal improvements. We're adding this new signal pole over here on the west side of the intersection because we're adding this crossing so we're adding we're adding or adding this new connection so we need a new signal here signal poles already exist in this locate these locations but we're modifying them we may have to relocate them to we're definitely making modifications to these signals and then we're also adding the pedestrian signals for the new crosswalk locations so those are the signal improvements and then finally in order to build all the improvements we do have to acquire some right-of-way so these yellow areas show the new right-of-way parcels that we have to acquire as part of the project. In order to put in this right turn lane, we have to coordinate with Crowley ISD and acquire this right-of-way parcel from Crowley ISD. And then we have to acquire this small right-of-way parcel here at the northwest corner of the intersection so that we can put in this larger radius and build our improvements so that folks can make this right turn. And then I mentioned that this is a complicated project and it involves multiple agencies. It involves the city of Fort Worth and TxDOT and Crowley ISD. 
and then multiple utility companies. So as I mentioned earlier, North Crowley Road is a TxDOT roadway. So in order to connect to their road and to build our improvements, we have to enter into an agreement with them. It's called a local on-system agreement. We're currently working on that agreement with TxDOT so that we can build this project. And then I mentioned the new connection on the east side for Crowley ISD. They want that new connection. And so we have to enter into an interlocal cooperation agreement with Crowley ISD in order for them to provide funding for that new roadway connection. So we're working on that interlocal cooperation agreement right now. And then also we have to work with multiple utility companies, um, electric, the electric company, gas company, and telephone companies all own utilities that are really very close to the intersection. And we're going to have to relocate and adjust some of their utilities. Um, and here's some information about the utility relocations. We know right now that there's underground gas and electric lines on the north side of North Crowley Cleveland Road and telephone lines. Some of those will be impacted by our project because we're widening the road. Um, so we will have to coordinate with them and possibly relocate some of those lines. We know that seven power poles um, that are right there in the area are either going to be relocated or removed. If you've driven out there at the intersection, you've seen the, all those power poles adjacent to this intersection and, and parallel to the roadway. So some of those are going to be affected. And then there's gas lines and fiber lines that may be impacted on the east side of the road where we're making that new connection. And then we also have to work internally with our water department folks to adjust and move fire hydrants and adjust water valves and adjust sanitary sewer manholes. So we're gonna be starting this coordination in the summer and we're gonna be in some of this utility relocation work. A lot of it will have to be done before we can start building our intersection improvements. So here's a slide about the project status and schedule. The current status of the project is that we are at the 60% design level. 60% uh, design should be due this month um, right around this time is when we like to have meetings like this so that we can solicit input from the public that use this intersection and so that we can incorporate that as part of our next submittal and before we finalize the design. So again, 60% plans are coming in this month in May. After that, um, you'll see us out in the field doing a constructability field review. So we want to take the plans out in the field and go out there with our inspectors and our um, um folks who know about construction and make sure that the job is constructible and that it makes sense and that we can actually build it the way it's shown on the plans and then we're also going to send the plans around the city and do a peer review of the construction drawings to all the departments at the city to make sure that the construction drawings are accurate and are complete um, after that we're going to ask our consultant to finish the plans as quickly as possible and at the same time, we're going to start the right of way acquisition and utility coordination processes that I just talked about. So we'll be reaching out to Crowley ISD starting the summer about acquiring that parcel that we looked at. And we'll also be contacting all the utility companies to start um, relocating those utilities this summer. Also, we expect to complete design of the project at the end of this year or the beginning of next year in winter 2022 2023. And then we expect to start construction in summer of next year. And um, after that, um, we expect that construction will be done and we'll be able to close the project in summer of 2024. So this is my contact information. Again, my name is Chad Allen. I'm the project manager. Here's my telephone number. It's 817-392-8021. This is my email address also. And right here is a link to the City of Fort Worth project website. We have a project page just for this project, and this link will take you there. So if you have any questions about the project, I'll try to answer them now. Um, my engineers on, on the phone also we will do our best to answer your questions. And if we can't, we'll, we'll definitely get back to you. Jeff, I can't see the chat box. Are there any questions in the chat box? No, sir, nothing in the chat box at the moment. Hello. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Uh, my name is Paul Wells, and I own the property on the uh, west north side of that intersection. That's okay. Actually in, that's actually in the county. Are okay. you going to put sidewalk? Are you going to plan sidewalks for that area? 
We are. I'm trying to find a slide so that we can look at it. I'm sorry. Um, we I, I don't proposing... have any. I can't view anything you have, so I'm just listening. Oh. I'm sorry. We are planning okay. right now, right there at that northwest corner that you're talking about. You say you own that building right there, that yes, property, sir. right yes, there sir. at the northwest, right there at the northwest corner. There's a, a an existing sidewalk ramp, and it just stops. There's no sidewalk yeah. that goes north. So we unfortunately, clean that. <laughs> go ahead. Go we ahead. We clean that. It's 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 uh, that's a trash dump for everybody that takes a left right there. And we end up cleaning all that trash off and taking care of that corner there. If you look at it, it's all, it's not taken care of by the city. It's taken care of by us. And, see, uh, and we're see. in the county. And so okay. I was wondering uh, how we were trying to stay away from sidewalks on, on our side. Uh, first, you know, <laughs> can so you tell me about never... that? Yeah, so we're not extending the sidewalks any farther north than they currently are. Uh, well, maybe about a few feet because we're widening the road a little bit. But basically, uh -huh. we're going, we're we're building what is there today. We're just making it better. So we're gonna we're gonna build a new curb ramp. We're gonna replace that one that's already there, and then we're just gonna stop the sidewalk just like it's stopped today. So we're not extending the sidewalk north. Great. Okay, that was my main question. We just want folks to be able to cross the road and get up out of the road and, and then. Absolutely. It needs it. Yes, sir. So I'm sorry you can't see the presentation. I would be happy to provide this to you if you wanted to call me or if you wanted to. Uh, well, I bet you can't put anything in the chat box. Can I read my phone number to you again? And maybe you can call me and I can get this yeah, information yeah, to you. Yeah. Yeah. Read it. Okay. Read it to me. Okay. My phone number is 817 392 eight zero two one my name is chad allen yeah if you'll call me and we can talk and i'll um you can give me your email address and i can send you this presentation and That'd it sounds like i'm gonna have to be talking to you about that little bitty parcel we, we we need to to acquire right at that corner right okay uh yeah my, let me give you my email it's are you ready um give me one second yeah go ahead Okay, it's blue. Well, well you're, I, you can do that, but just know that everybody else on the call is going to get that. So if you don't want that to happen. No, that's okay. <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. It's okay, blue, B-L-U-E, blue, B-L-U-E, Max, M-A-X, U-L, like Uniform Lima, at AOL.com. Okay, I'll send and you I don't this have presentation. Any heartburn with, I don't have any heartburn with... Uh, letting go of that little spot there i just was not i wasn't in favor of the sidewalks okay we are not extending the sidewalks and that little that little spot is, is very small um okay. i'll i have your email address now i'll email you the presentation and my property management folks and i will be reaching out to you really soon to talk about that that'd be great okay well thanks for participating tonight i really appreciate it. i i just i'm sorry your name was paul Wills? Paul Wells. Yes, sir. Paul Wells. Paul Wells. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Do you have, do you have any other questions? Uh, no, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night. You too, sir. Fantastic. Chad, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi, this is uh, Bill Parker. I am uh, the president of the uh, Clark Road Neighborhood Association, which is uh, dealing with that neighborhood on the uh, southeast side of that intersection there. Okay. If you've seen that. Um, several concerns. Um, well, first of all, the, I guess one of the main, when we're dealing with what you're talking about, how will, once you start the utility um, changes with the uh, poles and all that, where and when do you know if that will affect the properties around when it comes to receiving electricity or gas or water? Those are really good questions. Um, we're starting the coordination with those folks in, in the summer, right after we receive our 60% package. Um, I'm not really sure how they handle outages. I, I'm guessing that they try to, to you know, limit those as, as much as possible and maybe even all together while they're doing their construction, but I'm not sure if I have a better answer than that. 
Okay, is there a way I can give contact information where they can contact me? So because I have you know all, all contacts for the entire neighborhood here, but um, I, I, if and that those things might happen. Yes, sir. You can absolutely do that. You can leave if you would like. You could put your email in the chat. I did already. Um, okay, Bill, Bill. We we have all your contact information already. So okay, okay. I'll, I'll make I'll make sure because. I've been I've been helping out on the Clark Road stormwater stuff too, so I have it all. <laughs> oh, okay, fantastic. Thank you, Jeffrey. And, and I, I know yeah. that before this meeting, Jeff reached out to all the surrounding neighborhoods. So, yeah, definitely communication with the surrounding neighborhoods is really important to us. I'm glad you're attending this meeting tonight because of that. And so, yeah, as we move forward with that, we'll definitely keep the neighborhoods informed. Okay, fantastic. Uh, another quick question, obviously. Uh, the road that you're connecting on the Crowley ISD, um, that's going to end up staying a private road, I guess. So you guys do not have any domain or anything to that extent over the road. You're just extending your intersection to that road. Is that correct? That is the way I understand it. Um, you, you would have to talk to Crowley ISD about that. You, it sounds like you have just about as much information about it as I do. I understand that that is, yes, that's a private road connection on the east side. Okay. So, but I guess it's going to have public access um, when that type of thing. So, since I'm talking to the transportation and public works department of Fort Worth, when that type of thing happens and it has a public access to a private road, is there rules on uh, speed and, you know, uh, speed control, I guess you could say, and those types of things. So it doesn't turn into a drag strip, a private drag strip for people to speed up and down. Um. That's a, a really good question. I, I um, am not not too sure about that. Unfortunately, I did invite the Crowley ISD folks to attend the meeting tonight. I don't think Randy has called in. Is Randy on the call, Jeff? I don't I don't see him on the call, I but I bet so. Martin might okay. might know a we, little we bit. Can, we can yeah. definitely take note of your concerns. And again, I have your contact information. I can get back to you with a better answer about that. Well, that's fine. I have Randy Reeves um, contact okay. as well. Okay, that's our that's our contact at Crowley ISD. We've been sure. coordinating with him very much so about okay. this intersection. No problem. I know last time when I was in a meeting with him and the uh, city councilman, he wasn't even sure when it came to speed control and that type of stuff. So I was just wanting to make sure. But it is within the city of Fort Worth, so I would think that there's something that goes on there. I just don't want to speed back behind because these are. It is, uh, you know, that road will be touching the backyards of, you know, our residents, and so we right. just. Mr. Parker, to... this this is Martin Phillips. I'm a senior capital projects officer. I work closely with Chad on on some of these type projects, and uh, from what I recall, and looking at those plans, I think there's some access control that's going to be up uh, along that private roadway as well. So, you know, really, it'll be in use when that when that facility is in use. Okay. Uh, the way that I'm understanding it now, uh, but beyond that, you know, there wouldn't be public access. So um, that would be you know, fantastic. There, there, yeah, and I think Randy Reeves, and obviously, you know, as we get further into the plans there, we we can take a look at that and give you a hundred percent sure answer. But that's what I'm recalling from looking at those plans. Just wanted to share that with you as well. Okay. No, I appreciate you sharing that. That's uh, that's yeah, definitely. Thank you, Thank you Martin. Sense. Perfect, perfect. Well, I have my email address. I'd like you to also send me the uh, the uh, presentation if you can. That would be fantastic. Absolutely, no problem at all. I can email that to you, and um, it's also going to be up on our website at that link. But yeah, I'll send it to you by email. No problem. Okay, excellent. And thank you, thank you for participating. No, thank you, Chad. I appreciate this uh, this information meeting. So that that really helps, and so it's good to know um, what's going on there because that's obviously really close to our neighborhood. So yes. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're happy to um, stay here as long as we have to, to answer questions for folks on the call. Um, it's still early, so we're in no hurry to rush off. Are there, does anyone else on the call have any questions? I just have one quick question, and of course, uh, Crowley Road is, of course, part of Fort Worth. Um, when it comes to the sidewalks, they do not extend sidewalks going down. Obviously, the you know the private owner on the northwest side. I'm not concerned about that, but I'm really kind of thinking on the uh, 
east side of Crowley Road, um, the sidewalk does not extend all the way down. Do they wait for the developers once they develop there to do that? But actually passing in front of our neighborhood or our street as well, there are not any sidewalks and obviously the house is already built there. So I don't know if they ever extend that or not. How does that work? So on the east side, we are we are providing ramps that you can see right here on the south side of that new roadway connection. Right. And then also on the north. And then the, from what I remember of the plans I've seen from, from Crowley ISD, they were going to build a sidewalk along the north side of the road. So we're mm -hmm. proposing to connect to that. As far as on the south side of that road, um, we, we are not proposing any sidewalks on the south side of that roadway. And I was what, talking about along Crowley Road. Oh, I'm sorry. Along Crow along North Crowley Road going south. Yeah. No, we, we, we are not proposing any sidewalks in that area. Um, that's a TxDOT roadway. Um, on, on the east side of that road, we are not proposing any sidewalks. Okay. So TxDOT, is that they handle that type of thing? I would think so. There there are existing sidewalks on the west side of Crowley Road, I believe. Doug, is that right? Isn't there sort of a new sidewalk on the west side of Crowley Road extending to the south? Yes, sir. I think that uh, that sidewalk was constructed when they did the expansion to the uh, Crowley ISD bus facility there. Yes. Operation Center. Yeah, exactly. No, I was just curious on the east side and I guess more of southeast side if there was going to be one because there. Um, eventually, Bloomfield will be building, you know, I'm sure a sidewalk, but just from there to this intersection, which basically goes in front of our neighborhood, is where I was curious if they, you know, ever would or who would I talk to about getting a sidewalk put in there because it is private homes that are up against Crowley Road there. And obviously, they're not going to do it. Okay. That would be text on. Chance. Yeah, I, I can I can try to find some information about that and get back with you again. Okay, um, or you can just send me some text out person contact person. I'll be happy. Yeah, to absolutely. So you're interested in the sidewalk gap that is just south of the intersection on the east side, and you'd like to have that filled? Yeah, ideally. Yeah, that way because I know eventually they're going to you know construct on the uh, north side of this intersection or northeast side of this intersection where there is you know where it's just raw land. And I'm sure, you know, I know when they do build, they do put a sidewalk in, but, and then of course, to the south of our neighborhood, when they build, I'm sure they'll put a sidewalk in, but I'm just curious from our neighborhood to this intersection. Okay. All of our private owners, you know, private landowners, um, a sidewalk would be nice. You know, I'm not going along there. That's all. Okay. But since we were talking about it and you were talking about sidewalks and this intersection and our land bumps up to this intersection. So. Yeah, no, no problem. That's a great question and um, a normal concern. So I'm going to get back to you about that speed control. If we have any more information about that okay. and also about this sidewalk gap on the east side, south of the intersection. Fantastic. Thank you, Chad. Yes, sir. Jeff, is there anything in the chat box? No, sir, just Bill's email address. Okay. I'd be happy to go back and um, flip through any of the slides anyone missed or try to, again, try to answer any questions anyone has or take down your information and get back to you with, with answers. So if anyone else on the call has any more questions. They turned Definitely. Thank you, Chad. Uh, good job. Okay. Man. Appreciate it. All right, Very Martin. Good. Thank, thank mm -hmm. you, sir, for attending and for helping me answer those questions. I really appreciate it. Um, well, I guess, Jeff, if, if it's okay, I guess we're going to 
begin to close the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Close the meeting. Um, we're definitely not trying to rush. If anyone else on the call would like to talk or has any other questions, otherwise I've pulled up my contact information one more time. If something comes into your mind later that you'd like to ask us about, or if you have any concerns, uh, again, reach out to me, Chad Allen. My telephone number is 817-392-8021. My email address is chad.allen at fortworthtexas.gov. That's C-H-A-D dot A-L-L-E-N, the at symbol F-O-R-T-W-O-R-T-H-T-E-X-A-S dot gov. That's my email address. And I guess we can go ahead, Jeff, if you think it's all right, and just conclude the meeting. Will do. Thank you, Chad. I'm going to go okay. ahead and stop the recording. Right. Thank you, everyone, for participating and for attending. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Thank you.